Hello guys, welcome to the weekly trade ideas. This is the place to go to find great trading opportunities for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you growing your trading account and making you a better trader. Now, each week I upload at least a new video on this channel, so make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and of course, if you do like these videos, please do not forget to hit that like button. So we'll start with the euro this time. As you see this week, I'm changing a little bit on these uh, videos. So let me know in the comment section below if you want back the Dixie or not, because as so many of you have been skipping it. Anyway, uh, Euro USD, as uh, you see, guys, we mentioned uh, last week that uh, this area up here going to be a level of interest for uh, the bears. So when the euro did reach the top of the channel and this important area looking left, we uh, start seeing um, a bit of a slowdown. And then last week, the whole week was uh, a bearish one for the euro with a uh, break below uh, this first um, uh, structure, which is an important level. And the next structure level going to be down here for next week to watch and see what will happen at that area. So if we go down to the four hour time frame, you see it clearly here what, I, uh, what I'm talking about. So we had this whole impulse, this correction, and now this correction is um, is broken. So uh, is the euro going to do what i've been waiting it for it to do and that is a continuation down toward this area at least before any continuation to the upside well that could be the case but keep in mind that what uh, need to be uh, done here is uh, a break below this structure this structure down here gonna be a short-term important structure and a break below that will send us pretty quickly toward um, this area down here at around 1.1450 uh, the the level here is an important level because our um, previous swing uh, here um, on this level that got broken um, is um, a level that i'm expecting at least a little bit of a bounce at now keep in mind next week we have the u.s election on tuesday so uh, Things may be very bumpy and it may go very quickly on um, on the spike. So I want you to be careful and check those news events. So again, guys, I'm um, bearish on the euro, especially if we break below this level. We are looking for a retest and continuation at least toward this area to then consider uh, what will the next move be from here. Sterling, so uh, the Sterling is also um, doing that almost same correction here. We had the impulse, we have, we having the correction when the market reached uh, this level, uh, whoops, this level last week, I've talked about this area looking left guys, that it, this is gonna be a level of interest that may um, got um, a little bit of the defense at, at least. And uh, we've got this uh, strong bullish day here uh, that did close near those highs to then start seeing this uh, whole move to the downside. So is the sterling uh, ready for a continuation to the downside? Well, I'm not sure about that. We must first see a uh, broken structure here because this level is still holding as uh, support so as far as there is no break below this area to start looking for those continuations uh, the bulls may keep defending this level here we have the yearly pivot point at this level and so far it's been holding nicely as support and um, yeah who knows you may see a break of this trend line and continuation to the upside instead so uh, for this to really be a bearish continuation to the downside we need to see a break below this structure to then look for continuation let me take off my pivot point to make the chart a little bit cleaner so okay guys um, that is what we're looking for here either a break below this structure and that will signal continuation lower or if the bulls keep holding this area, then we look for um, then we look for for potential continuation to the upside. Because honestly, if we look at it on the daily here, you are still in um, a bullish trend, yeah, with higher highs and higher lows. So as far as soon as this is broken, then that trend will be invalidated, and we look for continuation. Pretty straightforward stuff. 
USD chief. So uh, this market uh, did hold at the last line of defense. If we look on the weekly time frame, you see there nothing on the way. So it is and it will be a defended level and any break below that that will open the door for uh, much more downside on this market. So I'm expecting this to be defended and we did expect that last week in the weekly overview as well. So for now we had a nice bounce. Is it ready for um, an uptrend reversal? I don't think so. I want to see at least a break above uh, this monthly pivot area here. And now this is gonna be an old monthly pivot because we have a new month now. But I want to see a break above this structure here. Then we start looking for retest and continuation. Keep in mind we have this high also that may act as a trouble area. So. Uh, looking good for now short term do not forget we had a little bounce this um, here previously and we now having the same but the last time we did push back down failed to break lower broke previous structure high this time again we failed to break lower the question is it the time for that bigger continuation up uh, or reversal up or not um, USD CAD also still uh, the bulls are still alive they did defend this area one more time the double bottom here is confirmed with a broken neckline so we have a broken neckline here and uh, potential continuation to the upside but first they need to take care of this area of um, resistance yeah so uh, this here is a really nice major swing high we do have a confirmed higher low now and if we see a break above this highs this high here we gonna see a potentially longer term continuation to the upside in my opinion so let's take off this trade this is done already um so what do we have to work with here on usd cat for next week the uh, the levels of interest in my opinion the first level gonna be yearly pivot point this previous structure here been tested many times as support and resistance and as resistance level we have up here so what i'm looking for for next week first a retest back down toward this area to then start looking if we're gonna see any bullish evidence at this level anticipating a continuation and hopefully a breakout but first if we find an entry here and we get any signal i think it is pretty wise to target this area first to then wait to uh, with the uh, with target to to see if we're gonna see a break out above this level so this previous structure need to be broken for more upside Aussie USD also been um, a bearish market after a retest of um, this area down here and failed to break um, to break higher so on the daily time frame we're still in this uh, bearish uh, trend but we need to see a break below these structures for more downside that's still not the case yet and as you see uh, it is slowing down a little bit here uh, after reaching this level so for more downside we need to see that uh, area broken uh, to then start looking for at least a retest of the 200 moving average down here usd jappy so this market did reach the 104 we know that the 104 gonna be a an important level for both traders and for the bog boj they don't like to to have um, the 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 jappy uh, at this level so we know that already and we had this whole area of support down here and uh, we look left we had uh, this area acting as resistance as well so as for now as far as 104 is holding i think there is a potential uh, bounce to come from this level we should not be selling at the at 104 but probably if 104 got broken that will be game over and even more continuation to the downside to come all the way down to 100 maybe but again as far as 104 is holding i'm not looking to sell it it is uh, a level to look for buys here already we had two times we um, uh, we had two times buys here and we could um, potentially go back all the way to 106 uh, from this level here but play it one play one level at a time so again 105 is your first uh, trouble level and then after 105 you um, can start looking for 106 any break below 104 uh, on the daily time frame of course that will uh, signal continuation uh, lower 
New Zealand USD, so this market, uh, what, what did we see last week here was a fake out to the upside to then go back inside the, the range and it is still uh, doing this uh, consolidation here. So not much, uh, not much of a um, trend yet. We're still inside this consolidation and it looks like a potential correction here. So what I'm looking for here to see if we're going to break out of this um, correction and especially if we're going to see a break below this structure because that will signal even more downside. So with this um, risk sentiment we have in the market, I'm not trusting much the Aussie and the New Zealand and uh, these currencies may suffer a lot if this um, continue. So going down to the four hour time frame, we saw this strong break, retest and continuation. So for next week, we keep looking to sell rallies on this market back down targeting this slow down here and if broken we start looking for even more downside on this market gold um, as you see here um, gold still also um, in some kind of a it was in, a, in this uh, range here oops so we had this range here uh, it got broken got retested but if we look on the daily time frame there is some evidence that this might continue down toward um, 1790 ish area because uh, we start seeing this stopping out here as um, as around the top and potential uh, continuation so um, I'm actually bearish on gold after a failed new high here a broken structure here and as far as uh, we are holding below this level now as far as we are holding below this structure here i think we may look for a continuation to the downside and if you look at the 200 moving average on the four hour been acting as a great dynamic resistance so far and um, yeah still the price on the four hour is below that and uh, that's why uh, i'm looking for potential uh, more downside before we start seeing a big move to the upside so 1790 first to then start looking potentially for bullish evidence now keep in mind that this whole area down here may act as an important support so this need to be broken for that continuation to happen so uh, yeah now we have uh, New Zealand Jappy and that is usually the part when I uh, start uh, making uh, the recording only for our trading rooms and that will be the case today as well. Thanks a lot guys please hit that like button for me and see you next week bye bye.